you get a warranty, which means that the manufacturer will stand behind the product if something goes wrong because it's under warranty. But the warranty can be voided by using the product other than what it was created for. Covenants have divine warranty because covenants are divinely created bonds. As long as the covenant is like literally it doesn't matter like how well you are you can dance like if you got that face um you know people gonna laugh while you dance and it's you know <laughs> welcome back to my channel this is your girl color me bad lynn i'm so glad to be back on to share some very very romantical fragrances yes i said romantical you know i tend to make up words over here that's one of the words that i make up that i made up romantical uh, another word that I made up is exotical, not exotic, but exotical. You know, I over exaggerate the word sometimes. That's just me. Hopefully you'll get used to it and you won't leave. All right. So welcome to my channel. Welcome back. If you've seen any of my other videos, uh, just to give you a little bit of a brief scenario about what we do over here in Color Me Bad Nation, we talk all things beauty, fragrances, the ones in my collection, my wish list, maybe your collection, your wish list, if you care to share hair weave wigs makeup no makeup uh, <laughs> love relationships romance faith most importantly if i forgot to mention anything we will probably talk about that or have talked about it and we'll come back and talk more about it again and again and again so let's get into it i'm so glad to again pop on and share some really really romantic fragrances with you guys some of these I may have shared with you before. Some of them I may not have. I'm not sure. Uh, you may have all of these in your collection. You may not have any of them. I'm not sure. But we are going to find out. So let's get into it. The first fragrance I want to share with you guys um, is a fragrance from the House of Latafa. I've shared with you on many, many occasions that I am a fanatic when it comes to fragrances that are Middle Eastern. I love them. They work so beautifully for me. I don't think I've received or purchased one in all these years that i didn't love or like and if i didn't care for it all that much i passed it along to somebody else and they were in love with the fragrance so uh there goes that so let's get into it the first fragrance i want to share with you guys is called velvet rose and i'm going to bring this in a little bit closer so you guys can actually see i keep her in her casing because i really haven't played around with her that much and i love the packaging and so I didn't want to throw this away because I thought this was really really well done um, and I just really really like um, the way that they package this fragrance right so we're gonna get into uh, what's in this fragrance if you're not familiar with me or this is your first time ever seeing me and you're just getting to know me hi um, I am on a lifelong journey for rose and oud fragrances so as you well know, there is almost an impossibility to find the most beautiful one because for one, they keep coming out with new fragrances and then for two, it's just almost utterly impossible to do that, right? So, but this is an absolutely gorgeous fragrance. I haven't played around with this one too much, but I just love the packaging. I love the top of this. Kind of reminds you of like the door knobs from back in the day. Um, it's got the symbol of Latafa on the inside of the doorknob. I'm a really detailed oriented person. And so when I get something like this, I really, really cherish it. That's why I keep it inside of the packaging because I just love the way this is presented. It's just such beautiful juice from the packaging down to the scent of the fragrance. I'm going to spray a little bit of this on myself uh, because I don't really have anything. And I think I sprayed on a little something earlier today, but nothing. Uh, in particular, I think I was just kind of trying on something to see what I thought about it earlier. And so right out of the gate, you guys, this is so breathtaking, literally. Um, if you love a really nice rose fragrance, um, it's got a little bit of a modern new age. It smells like you are laying in a bed of rose petals. You know how fresh roses smell? especially if they're healthy roses that so beautiful um and yes there's a difference in healthy roses and ones that aren't uh, i want to share with you guys um what's in this and um 
you can go from there. Um, this is actually a unisex fragrance. So if you have a um, significant other that loves fragrances and scents like you do, and he or she loves the scent of rose and oud, you may want to grab two bottles of this because you guys are going to definitely share um, this scent. It is so sexy, so seductive. I'm trying to stay away from that word and we want to use the word romantical today um same thing this is such good juice again this is velvet rose la type of perfumes this is for women and for men your main of course of this fragrance it's got amber it's musky it has rose it has the right amount of rose okay it's got patchouli it's woody so it's definitely got your oud in it but not too much it doesn't it's not a sharp rose um, it's a little bit powdery a little bit warm spicy but not overbearing you can't taste it um, it is also balsamic it's earthy and animalic so it's got all of the components in a fragrance that I love some may say that this is the type of fragrance that you will wear in cooler months of course we are now into our welcome to spring days um, and so these are fragrances that you would probably deem um, more of a colder weather, cooler weather type of fragrance, which we're still having those types of days, especially early mornings and late evenings. Um, and I like wearing fragrances like this in the hot summer. I am no, I'm not afraid to do it. Um, this is such a beautiful fragrance. If you love rose, if you love oud, if you love an, an animalic fragrance, a little bit earthy, a little bit warm, spicy, but not the kind of warm, spicy that you can taste. I highly recommend getting your nose on this one and possibly adding this one to your collection. I just wanted to come on and kind of share this. And if you have this already, what you think about it, this is such a beautiful fragrance. Um, I don't know what this is a duplicate for. And uh, to be honest with you, I really don't get concerned with all of that because it doesn't matter to me. I absolutely adore this fragrance. Um, they got real gritty on the rose, y'all. No pun intended. This is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so next on the list is another extremely romantical fragrance. Um, this is one of those fragrances that I go crazy with when I spray out on this. And so I have to keep her in her packaging and I tuck her away. So I don't go super, super crazy on her. But this is one of those fragrances that when I got this in my collection, I wasn't sure that it was going to work well on me because it looks so fresh and aquatic. And I saw, I was like, I don't know. This looks a little watery. This looks a little weak. I don't think this is going to work. Total opposite. It is one of the best smelling fragrances on my skin that I have in my collection. It's been in my collection for quite some time. Um, but this is such a romantical scent, you guys. This is Tiffany and & Co. Intense. And this is the package, and I keep her in the box. You can kind of see a little bit of age on the box a little bit. It's not sitting like perfect. So I'm going to take her off of her little, take the little top off. And this is how she kind of sits inside of her, her little nook here. And you can kind of see this little part of the box is kind of sitting up. Because I've had this for quite some time. Um, and I'm going to bring the bottle in a little bit closer. You can kind of see the juice that's missing out of this. I haven't worn this that many times. Um, but I do like to, when I spray on this, I really go ham and go heavy on my sprays. This is such a sexy, I was supposed to say romantical, romantical, sensual, seductive, baby such a beautiful fragrance i'm gonna spray a little bit of this on i haven't worn this in a while the sprayer on this is gorgeous like it's like it, it looks like they spent like a thousand dollars on the sprayer alone it's such a good sprayer love it first to right out of the gate give it to me give it to me give it to me oh it is so beautiful you guys if you've never gotten your nose on this I think I've shared on many, many occasions that I love an intense version of fragrances. I normally wait for like the noir versions or the intense versions of fragrances to come out if it's something I'm really, really interested and in adding to my collection. Um, and that is basically because normally your intense versions work a lot better for me. Um, and this is definitely the case um, in this particular line of fragrances. Um, again, this is Tiffany and cold intense smells so beautiful 
this is such a gorgeous like this is one of those like no brainer fragrances you don't have to do anything with this you just shower if you forget to moisturize whatever you want to hurry you just want to smell real good tiffany and co intenses for women of course anyone who wants to wear this absolutely can this is the intense version so because there is a difference there are a couple of different flankers of this one this is the intense version um your main of course of this fragrance is a little bit powdery a little bit musky um it definitely has amber in it most of the fragrances that i share with you guys have amber somewhere in them they have a woodiness to them a little bit of musk um it has iris in it iris is normally where you get your powderiness and your fragrances of course there are other notes or other components of fragrances that will give you a powdery note but normally when you have a fragrance or a cologne that dries down extremely powdery it normally has a little bit of iris in it somewhere even if it's not listed um, this is vanilla it's woody it's soft spicy um, this is definitely a fragrance that's heavy on the pink pepper but it's not overbearing and it's top quality pink pepper and so it is not going to drive you crazy it's violet it's earthy this is such a gorgeous fragrance you guys like um i really like wearing this in the winter time but springtime just this fragrance just pops and comes alive it's something about that cool you know gently warm type of weather that this fragrance is just perfect perfect in um, but I definitely like wearing this all year round. I think the last time that I wore this fragrance, it was probably springtime. Um, and I can just remember that it lasted all day. You know, I had somewhere to go. I had an appointment or something like that. Sprayed it on that morning. And I can remember later on in the evening going, what did I spray on earlier today? And it was this. And I always remember fragrances that way when I can still smell them. Um, before I take a shower or a bath at night if I doze off and take a nap and wake up and I can still smell my fragrance That is what makes me remember them. And so if you're looking for something that's really really sensual Really romantic or sexy Tiffany and company intense uh, for women anyone who wants to wear this absolutely can this is such a gorgeous Gorgeous fragrance and if I'm not mistaken this has a note of carrot in it this is so beautiful, you guys. If you don't have this in your collection, try to get your nose on this one and see what you think about it. I can't wait to hear. Okay, so up next on the list is a fragrance that I wouldn't say is on my favorite to do uh, fragrance, but it is definitely a sensual, romantical fragrance. Um, I'm one of those weird people that really can't do Versace fragrances all that well. Um, they smell good, but a lot of times they don't last very long on me. Um, unless I really do heavy layering and combine them with oils and all that type of stuff. And I'm one of those kind of people that I like to combine fragrances and play around with them. But I don't want to have to do that. Um, and this is one of those fragrances that you kind of have to do that with. And I don't really like that because in my opinion, that's too much work. You know what I mean? And so that's something that I try not to do because a lot of times you just want to spray and go. Um, I do take the extra time to layer fragrances and things of that nature because I love for my fragrances to project and last for me. And you know, you just want to smell good. And so that's the whole purpose and point. This is one of those fragrances that even though it doesn't last 6, 8, 12 plus hours on me, that I really, really adore this scent. I really do. It took me a long time to even start spraying out on this fragrance because I'm not one of those kind of people that's just like in for it for the hype. You know what I mean? And so it takes me a while to kind of get into fragrances. Um, and play around with them and tell you what I think and I don't know what is going on with the front of this bottle But my little symbol is crooked. It's leaning to the side I don't know what's up with it, but the spray on it is still good So I'm gonna put a little bit on the back of this hand over here And tell you guys what I think about this I don't think I've ever actually worn this fragrance out um, You probably have guessed it by now that I don't go that many places and so, you know, like going out, going to clubs and all that type of stuff. So 
I haven't worn this all that much, but I've played around with it. Um, out of all of the flankers that have come from this particular note, I think you got turquoise and now you got the uh, Dylan purple uh, fragrance. This one smells the best on me, um, definitely. Um, it definitely has an acquired taste to it. There's something in this that when I first spray it out, it kind of turns me off a little bit. And I haven't really figured out what it is because everything that's in this fragrance or listed in it really is something that I rock with. I mean, for the most part, um, this is a uh, Versace Parfum Dylan Blue by Versace. It is a floral fruity fragrance. That could be it because I'm real tricky with the floral fruity fragrances. Um, this is for women, of course. Anyone who wants to wear this absolutely can. This fragrance was launched back in 2017, so it's been around for a little while. Um, Versace Parfum Dylan Blue was created by Calice Becker and Natalie Garcia C2. Your top notes are Granny Smith Apple, which I normally really, really enjoy. You got Black Current, you got Clover, you got Forget Me Not, which is a flower. Um, you've got Shiso. Your middle notes are your hard notes or Peach. Um, Patalia, Rose Hip, More Rose. Um, you've got Jasmine, you've got Musk, Whitewood, Styrax, and Patchouli. So, but there's something in this that kind of like gives me like this weird note. I don't know what it is, but I like this fragrance. And someone shared with me that this smells really good with, um, if you use Victoria's Secrets Country Apple body cream, shower gel, lotion spray, the whole thing, and layer it with this, that this really comes alive. And I'm going to give it a try because I think I got some country apple left over from, I think I do. I've got winter candy apple. So I've got that one. So somebody told me that the apple scents with Bath and Body Works works really, really good with this particular fragrance. So I'm going to give it a try and find out whether or not that's actually, you know, going to work because it's just something in this that kind of. But it's a really sensuous, really romantical fragrance. Um, if you're wanting to wear something really soft and sensuous um, to bed, uh, or if you're just hanging out movie night at home with your significant other and you just want to smell really, really sexy. I said it, didn't I? I, guess I, yeah, I, couldn't, I couldn't hold back. This, this does it. It's like I said, it's a really, really particular taste, but it just has something in it that, you know, kind of, you know, it kind of starts to work right up in here. It just, you know, and then it travels on down. And so I really, really like this. I put this in a category of a sexy, romantical fragrance. I love the bottle and I love the bottle on all three of the fragrances, but this is the one that smells the best on me right now. You know, that can change now. It can change at any moment. But for now, I really, really enjoyed this beautiful uh, Granny Smith apple, black currant, patchouli, peaches, roses, white floral fragrance. We're going to keep working with it, but it's so sensual, you guys. Now, like I said, it doesn't last like 12 hours on me, but the time that it does, get you some. Okay, so you know I'm good for what they call an old lady frag, sexy old lady frag, and I love all of them. I don't care who what they are, Halston, Aromatics, Poem, you name it. I like them, all of them. Okay, bring them to me. I love all the old fragrances. So this one um, originally was like crafted, I guess, and created back in 1923. But this particular version of this scent was, I guess, relaunched or reformulated in 1985. And this is a scent that I had never heard of. But whenever I see an old school fragrance and it's really, really like inexpensive, you know, uh, this comes from like the house of Dana who makes taboo and uh, like one of my favorite rose fragrances is taboo rose, you know, I love those fragrances. And so this is one of those 
Um, that is extremely sexy, you guys. Well, I was supposed to say sensuous, romantical, whatever. This is such a sexy, spicy. This fragrance does something for me and to me. It is called Du Jour's Moi. Uh, bring the bottle in a little bit closer. And I'm talking about old school, old vibes. Heavy on the spice. Heavy on the boots. <laughs> Heavy on the boots. Do you hear me? Uh, to most people, this will make them run and go, oh my God. And uh, if a gentleman wanted to wear this, he absolutely could. It's like the female version of like an aftershave type of scent. But it's, it's a little sweeter and a little spicier and it's got a little creaminess to it when it's dry. When this dries down, this turns into something so sexy to me. And that's why a lot of times when you share fragrances, you have to go, this is something that I enjoy. This is something that I like. So, you know, if you get it and you don't like it, don't cut for me because we all have different tastes and fragrances, right? But this is so sexy to me, you guys. Um, in my opinion, like if you like fragrances like uh, the original Opium, if you like Halston, if you like Aromatics by Clinique, you know those deep dark fragrances that are old lady frag kind of like people, that's what they call them. You might enjoy this. I love this scent. It's just something about this that just gets to me. It is so sexy. Now, if you're going to wear this to bed, I would recommend that you go light on your sprays. Um, you may not want to spray behind the ears and the neck because your significant other may think that this is just a little bit too heavy. Um, it depends on what kind of mood he's in. You know, for the most part, you really don't have to wear anything. You know, it is what it is. And we know we love those au naturels. But it's just nice sometimes to put a little something on, um, especially if that is a hot button for your significant other. And for me, you know, that smell good. Just do a little something extra for your girl. You know, I'm just letting you know. This is called Tajours Mori. And this is coming from the creator of Dana for women. Of course, anyone who wants to wear this fragrance absolutely can. I am a sucker for an old school fragrance. I'm telling you, we'll come on and share sometime this year the ones that are my favorites that are all these but goodies. If you're thinking to yourself, girl, you grab this from, this is some of your mom's old fragrance. No, my mother probably would have never worn anything that smelled like this. Um, this is my taste. We had totally different tastes and fragrances. Now, as I got older, um, I would get, sometimes I would get gifted fragrances that I didn't care for. And if they were higher end fragrances, she'd say, let me see, let me see. And that's how she ended up with some fragrances that I had in my collection, maybe that I didn't really care for uh, that way. But this one is definitely mine. She would have never worn anything like this. Trust me. Okay. Uh, your main, of course, of this fragrance is woody. It's a white floral. It's warm, spicy. Um, it's powdery. It's amber. It's musky. Um, it is aromatic. And that's what it reminds me of. It reminds me of, like I said, if you like Aromatics by Clinique, you would like this. Um, to, because that's one of my favorite fragrances. Um, and that's what this is kind of in the category of. This is a little bit heavier to me. Um, in my opinion, Aromatics has a little bit more of an aromatic, more of a fresh uh, scent. This is a little, a little bit heavier in my opinion. Maybe it's just because of how it, it's how it lays on my actual skin. This has a little bit of sweetness to it. And it's just the right amount of sweetness, you guys. Um, it's floral and it's also balsamic. You will again often hear me mention the word balsamic when I am sharing a fragrance with you. That is one of the components and fragrances that work really, really well with my body chemistry. And I love a balsamic fragrance again this is a toujours moi by dana very very nice very sexy okay so i had a couple more i wanted to share but we'll probably do a part two you know i can never get enough of talking about sensuous seductive sexy romantical you know what i'm talking about them there so the last fragrance that I'm going to share with you guys is something that I have shared with you before. I will continue to share with you this fragrance is beyond romantical. 
this is one of those. Um, I was watching a YouTube channel and uh, this was way before I even started doing this. And I was just, you know, th thumbing through YouTube. I, I was, you know, bored sitting at home during the pandemic. And uh, I probably had cooked about five meals that day. <laughs> oh my God, anybody else cooked a lot when they were sitting at home during that time? Like I made every, I cooked everything I could ever think of. The only thing I didn't make during that time period was like um, hot water cornbread. <laughs> Like I was coming up with, uh, I went and bought a ninja, started juicing. It, it just got out of hand up in here. Okay, and so anyway. <laughs> okay, so let's get into it. I, you know, we have to confess one to another, you know. Anyway, so this fragrance is uh, from the uh, house of Terry Mugler. If I haven't shared with you before, I love all of their fragrances. I can remember as a young woman when they first came out with the angel fragrance and I didn't care what it smelled like but they made such a huge big deal about you know you walk through the fragrance collection the fragrance department and all you saw was this big blue star and the big old counter with all the different gift sets and the people standing out trying to spur you down and give you a little card and a sample and come get this perfume and you gotta have this. I will always remember that like they whoever did their marketing to launch their fragrance when it first came out was amazing because I remember I remember that vividly anyway long story short this this fragrance found its way into my collection some time back uh, I can't remember how long ago but it's just one of those fragrances that like I said I was watching YouTube <laughs> And one of the guy, one of the people that were on there talking mentioned this fragrance, and I couldn't really understand what the person was talking about. But when the bottle, when she pulled the bottle up, I'm gonna be honest, I really couldn't. You know, I'm one of them kind. Of, I get you got to talk. I got to understand what's going on, what's happening. But she pulled this, she pulled this fragrance out. Everybody had their own, you know. Everybody got their own tribe. So I, she pulled this bottle up and first of all, I'm trying to see what's going on with this thing because you know I'm an artsy person. Like I like stuff that make noises, I like chains and whoop whoop, you know. But I like stuff like this, right? And so that's what it, and then when I found out it was made by the people who made Angel and all you know alien alien fusion i'm like i love those fragrances and why don't i have this in my collection i had never heard of this you guys when i tell you if you don't have this in your collection you're missing out like i like this fragrance i like i love this fragrance i'm not gonna lie to you and it has a beautiful sprayer on it to the point where it keeps you from spraying too much um this is some of the good juice i mean this it's in my opinion this is the one of the prettiest fragrances my other favorite fragrance of theirs is alien fusion but this is beautiful and it is made up of fig fig leaf fig tree and caviar i don't know who thought to put those notes together but this is one of the most beautiful fragrances that I have in my collection. I cherish this. I don't cover it, but I cherish it. Um, I respect the artwork. I respect the scent. Love that first sniff. It is so beautiful. Um, when you get your nose on this, it's going to mess you up on the inside. You're going to be like, I smell good. Like It is really, really effortlessly gorgeous. Um, I'll share with you some fragrances that if you like, you will love this. If you like, and now these don't, these fragrances don't smell like this. I'm telling you, this stands in a league all of its own. But if you like these fragrances, you may like this. Um, if you like fragrances like Pleasures by Estee Lauder, you will love this. Um, if you like Miracle by Lancome, you will love this. They don't smell like this. But if you like those fragrances, and those are two of my favorites in the whole wide world, you will absolutely love this fragrance. I'm telling you, it is so beautiful. I think I might wear this tomorrow. Uh, and I don't have anything planned to do. It's just sometimes you just want to smell good to yourself and for yourself. 
this is such a beautiful fragrance again if you love the notes of fig fig tree fig leaf caviar i highly recommend that you get your notes on this and if you like those types of fragrances that i mentioned just if you can find a really good deal on this and you want to treat yourself and you want something really really sexy and seductive that's different that nobody else that you know is going to be wearing this is so pretty and this is one of those fragrances that you don't share with people like they'll be like what you got on you be like i can't remember and i normally try to share with people if they ask and they really want to know i'll tell them it's not that big of a deal but a lot of times because i mix and match things i forget this is something that I wouldn't wear to like work or anything like this. When I say this is a sexy day night bedtime fragrance. But like I said, sometimes you just want to smell good to yourself for yourself. And this is perfect for that. Like if you're trying to get your sexy back, um, if you just want to build your self confidence up um, and you just want to feel good about yourself, you just got yourself a new wig or you got your hair done. Um, you got a new haircut or a new hair color and you know and but you got your nails done you got a mani and pedi you went and got your skin done or whatever the case may be and you just want to feel good and smell good this is one of those fragrances that you just come home take your shower or your bath moisturize down spray down put you on some fresh new pajamas that you want to lounge around in all weekend or however long and just enjoy your own company or the company of someone else that is deserving this is a perfect fragrance for this this is womanity by mugler if you don't have this in your collection <laughs> i'm telling you right now i have had this bottle for so long and when I tell you I spray down in this and I just get lost in the sauce, this is perfection in a bottle, you guys. This is really everything you want in a fragrance when you buy one and you keep buying fragrances because you just, I, this ain't working. And I like this one for a week, but then I don't like it no more. And now everybody's wearing this scent. So I don't want this no more. I'm going to find something that nobody else has. And I'm one of those kind of people, like I like to wear fragrances that no one else is wearing. Uh, I'll let the hype and hoopla go down before I talk about something a lot of times. Uh, but this is one of those I don't mind sharing. This is such a beautiful fragrance. If I ever were to run out of this scent, I would definitely um, ask for this as a gift or repurchase it um, again. And like I said, I've had this for years and years and years. This is just one of those that, uh, you know, you wear when you want to feel good about yourself it's just beautiful you guys caviar and fig tree get you some all right so i just wanted to thank you guys for watching once again uh hopefully you enjoyed this recording i can't wait to hear if any of those fragrances that i have talked about today you have in your collection or that you've had somewhere down the line or you know somebody that wears some of those fragrances or you've been thinking about adding those to your collection i would love to hear down in the comments we'd also like to meet you over on instagram my instagram tag is at color me bad underscore lynn can't wait to hear from you thank you guys for watching this is your girl color me bad lynn we'll catch you on the next video peace